please give me a moment I'll make sure everything is working fine and we shall get started okay looks good and we are live everywhere hello and a very good afternoon to you first of all apologies uh, for the delay in starting this um, live stream it is not uh, four o'clock it's almost what time is it almost 10 past four just after 10 past four we had a bit of technical issue so i had to restart the the mac anyhow i think we're live everything is looking fine i hope you had a great weekend and ready to start well in some part of the world it's the end of the day but if you are starting your monday and you're looking forward to the week then let's get this um, live stream um, on the go every weekday we go live with uh, topic such as google ads video marketing display ads pretty much anything and everything to do with uh, video ads and google ads today i'm going to go through a very interesting topic and a campaign which not many people know of and these are called the google ads uh, discovery campaign now if you're new here on this channel the format is that i'll cover today's topic i'll go through the workflow or the slides and then towards the end of the session i'll try my best to answer any questions you may have so please put them in the comment box on the around the video and i'll try my best to answer them for you okay that looks good so where were we yes discovery ads uh, or campaigns i should say now what you want to do is to be able to create a campaign which goes pretty much everywhere it goes on google uh, uh, search network it goes on display it goes on youtube it goes on uh, gmail and you create one campaign couple of ads or maybe one ad and that's it let Google do all the heavy lifting for you by creating all these ads um, dynamically I mentioned search ad I'm sorry it doesn't go on search ad it goes on these three other networks how do you get started so all you do is you go to the new campaign and then depends on what your objective is I'm gonna go for leads and then in here instead of the search which you would normally use and select we go on discovery generate leads with visually rich personalized ads that show across youtube gmail discover and more click on that continue you put in your campaign name select your location your language this is where it's a little bit different you cannot go on manual mode as it will not allow you to do that all it does is it you pay for the conversions and not for the clicks that's what this is all about so all you do is you put in your conversion or the target cpa when you check this box in google is going to look your in your account and give you a number as to how much it can get you a conversion for so it's giving me seven pounds and 20 pence for a typical conversion and this is a typical target cost per acquisition for a discovery campaign so I can either apply it or what I tend to do is initially I can go a bit higher so I'm giving Google a little bit more leeway to get my conversions although it knows that it can get me a conversion at seven pounds and 20 pence I'm going to go a bit higher and once I start getting the conversions and get the campaign running, I'll reduce the the bids. So you, as I said earlier on, you do not pay for the clicks. You, there's no bidding for the clicks. It's only for the cost per acquisition. If Google can get you a conversion, it's going to charge me whatever it has bought that uh, conversion at. We do not pay for any clicks and then the budget now this is where again most people go wrong if I just put in 
12, I'm not giving Google enough budget because potentially Google can only get me one conversion per day. So what I want to do is I want to at least give five times, sometimes even more, the, the cost per acquisition. So I'm going to start with 12 times 5, 60. So I'm giving it a fair amount of budget. But over here it says here, consider increasing your budget to 84 or higher to help improve your campaign's performance. Your budget is too low for your bid, which might reduce your campaign's performance. And when you see that, don't freak out that, oh my God, I don't have enough budget. As long as you're prepared to pay for that lead, you need to start running this campaign to get it moving and then you can reduce it. But why would you reduce it if you are getting a great CPA? So although I have bid 12 pounds, if I start getting cam uh, bid, uh, cam conversions at five or six pounds, then potentially I can easily get up to, what, 20 conversions a day. And as long as I can handle the amount of leads coming through, I'll keep on ramping up. In, in fact, if I need more, I can take that spend to 200 or 150 or whatever. And this is the power of these discovery campaigns because the volume is so much that you have got no limitations to how high you can scale this. It is very scalable. And we only pay when we get a conversion. Then you have all the various um, settings, conversions, definitely set up your conversions and I've got account level conversion setting which is fine. Then you name your ad group and what I tend to do is if I'm targeting the business professionals in a particular ad group, I will name that as business professionals. I, what I tend to do is target one uh, targeting per ad group. So it's giving me lots of different ideas as to what it is. This is for my website because this is my test account. So if I wanted to do, let's say, teeth whitening, it won't give me um, the targeted audience over here because it hasn't got enough data for the dentist niche. But I'm just going to target, let's say, teeth whitening. And I want to target the business professionals who are my target, who may be my target audience. Then you go on the demo, and whoever you don't want to target, you take them out. And you can't change anything on the household income, so that is fine. And then you go to your ads. You got two types of ads. One is carousel ad and one is discovery ad and all you do is you go in there you put in the final URL I'll just go to Google and I'll pick up a website um, let's say this one this is just for test purposes I'll put up a dentist website and here's what you need to do then is throw in a few images and logos and that your headline up to one two three five i think you can put in yeah five headlines and three or four descriptions five descriptions you put in now if you don't have images you can also use stock images and i'm going to put in the whitening so these are all uh, royalty free images which you can use I'm gonna select that and now what you want to do is give Google different um, ratios because dependent on the size it's going to show, uh, put in different uh, size images and ads so I've got the first one and then I've got the square one and then the four to five and these three are all applicable for that so I've selected those three ratios and it says your watermark will not appear in your ad which is from Shutterstock which is fine so these are you're not breaking any 
laws or infringing on anybody's copyrights because these are all allowed in Google. Use that. So the more images you have to test, use different ones. You can change and crop the image the way you want it. These three are all selected. And I'll use this as a nice one because with the teeth whitening, I do know that they are like different shades of white which they are showing over here. That's a nice photo. And you can use a dentist photo as well if you are using if you are a dentist and you want to run this ad. So that's good. I will put in now and we need to put in a logo as well. So what we do is I think I have one of my recently used logos. I'll use that. Ah, that is it. So select it as a logo, although it's not the right shape or size, I'm just using it to show you guys how to do that. And now that error message has disappeared. Now you will see how, so I'm just going to, this is headline one. If you repeat it, it's going to give you that error message. You have up to 90 characters and uh, change that so you can see how the description will look as well so you don't need to worry about split testing different messages and images to teeth whitening dentist something like that See, it, although I have not written this headline and the description, but even if you were to write it, it won't take you long. Images, you don't need to worry about. You've got beautiful images, and look how cool this ad looks. That is the beauty, and I love these ads because they work wonderfully well. And your call to action could be whatever. Contact us, learn more, book now. I think book now is there as well. And uh, learn more I like or contact us is good as well I'll leave it as contact us and then you can see your ad how it looks on a mobile or on a desktop so you will see these kind whenever you see these kind of ads these are what we call the responsive display ads where Google is going to mix and match the image headline description and see which one is giving us the best performance using all these different combination. So you can imagine if you were to try to do this yourself, it's going to be a nightmare with all these different uh, size images and descriptions. And secondly, you will need to have potentially a graphic designer to give you different options. Whereas over here, I've just thrown in the images, the logo, headlines, description, job done. I can pretty much get my campaign up and running in no time. And if I don't get the performance, I can then come back in, change the headlines or the description and the images, and start over again. And that's how it will look on YouTube with the ad written over there. And on Gmail, is going to be right at the top. And this is how easy it is to uh, create a Google discovery campaign. This is for uh, the teeth whitening dentist. So hope you enjoyed this um, video. I'm sorry it got a bit delayed and over and I've got another appointment to hop onto. So hence I'm going to uh, cut it short.
uh, for today and I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is writing ads and I'll write uh, some ads for you. So if you do want me to write your ads, uh, send me a message through our website or through WhatsApp and I'll be more than happy to write an ad for you. So till then, stay safe and I look forward to seeing